Today we will talk about the Bertrand's paradox. So the problem goes like this. A chord is chosen at random. Find the probability that the length of the chord is greater than the length of the side of the inscribed equilateral triangle. Method 1. In this method, we will consider a family of parallel chords and each family will have a diameter perpendicular to the chords. We will take the points where the chords and the diameter meet to parameterize the chords. Now consider an equilateral triangle. We will get something of this sort and if you take the chords, you observe that the points are at a distance of r from each other. The total length of the diameter is 2r. So if a point belongs to minus r by 2 comma r by 2 then the length of the corresponding chord is greater than the length of the side of the equilateral triangle. From this we get the required probability is 1 half. Method 2 In this method we will fix one of the vertex of our chord and we will get something like this. Now consider an equilateral triangle. You will notice that the a the arc in red represents the chords whose length are greater than the side of an equilateral triangle. Hence the probability is the length of the arc in red divided by the circumference and hence the probability is 1 by 3. Method 3 In this method, we will choose any chord and consider its midpoint. We will use the midpoint to parameterize our chord. Now, Consider an equilateral triangle and a circle inside it. Take any point inside the circle and look at the corresponding chord. You will observe that the length is greater than the length of the side of the equilateral triangle. And any point inside the smaller circle is a favorable point. Which means we can take the ratio of the area of the two circles. So the required probability becomes area of the smaller circle divided by the area of the larger circle and hence the required probability is 1 by 4. We get three different answers for the three different methods. Are all three correct or are all three wrong? What do you think? Well, it, the answers are different because in each method we model the question differently. The way in which a chord was randomly chosen was different and that is the reason why we get different answers in the different methods.